So today we are addressing a massive issue that you'll find if you've got any Mark IV Escorts or RS Turbos, even the Mark III's with the sunroofs, you have this issue of rust. Now from a distance, look like they're rust free. They always look like they're rust free in the pictures. When you look up close, they've always got bubbles of rust. So this has been treated at some point, but it's gonna come back. They rust from the inside. These sunroofs, they let water in. There's water drains that go down here into the rear quarters. They let water in as well. If these cars didn't have a sunroof, there'd be a lot less rust on them. So today we're gonna to do something about it. Also, someone had drilled an aerial in at some point, so we bunged that up, but that's coming out as well. So let's get on with it. So have you already guessed what we're gonna be up to today? So we've marked it out already. So drop a comment below before you uh, continue watching the video. Let us know what you think is gonna happen. So let's have a little look what we're finding underneath this rust. Oh, look at that. You can see, I don't know if it's been filled or... So it's right, bad. yeah, so that looks like that has been repaired in the past, doesn't it? Look, it's just been primed over So this time. has been repaired in the past. And this is what you're going to get on all the RS turbos, all the Escort Mark 4s. So this is the first time we're even seeing it, like you are. Look how deep that hole is. So you can see why it's come back. And this is always going to happen. They rust from the inside out. So we're going to get this, plas uh, this glass sunroof out now. We're going to have a look inside and see what we find. So back in the 90s, this was the um, way to repair your roof. Look at that. <laughs> So there's actually, oh mate, that's proper. So from the top, most of your cars, you wouldn't even know. Jesus, until you start digging in. <gasps> look at that. Did you see that? It's a fucking hole, look. So there was already holes in here before. And as I say, they rust from the inside out. So um, yeah, we're gonna just pull this out and uh, have a look down it with a torch and see how bad the rust is inside. It ain't actually got the typical RS Turbo where you go over a speed dump and the filler covers your, your head with filler and uh, rust, but you can tell it is bad. So we're gonna just keep digging and show you what we find. So we just found where that filler bit went. So then I uh, can't wait to get, can't wait to delve deeper into this. Just found, there you go, look at that. So they're, they're filled through there and the fillers come through. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a relic. <laughs> it's so fun, this car. Look at that. It's actually stuck to a bit of rust. So the sunroof mechanism itself is actually not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. Normally they're absolutely rotten. This one actually works perfectly. It's all greased up and everything. So we have to sell that. People will love that one. So you can see that normally these are the bits that shower you in rust when you're in the car normally, but this one didn't do it until we were undoing it. And, uh, Getting all the rust so you can see a little bit up there. I'm gonna shine a torch under here, show you how bad they get from the inside out. It's so exciting when you find little bits like this, like little treasure troves that have happened in the past and you can see what's been going on. It's like, you can see how them antique hunters must feel when they're digging about. Oh, look at that. Go on, stick, stick a screwdriver for it. <laughs> so that's quite funny. You can see that's all filler along there where they've filled it from the top. But yeah, you can see why they rust. They rust on the inner skin and they rust out. So once that's started, unless you get rid of this roof, it's never ever going to stop. Um, I know we're going to get comments about, oh, the car's a rust bucket, whatever, but we're sorting the rust out. That's the whole issue. You try to tell me that your RS hasn't got these issues, then you're trying to uh, con yourself really because they have but we're just addressing them and we're documenting it and showing you the fun along the way let's not mess around anymore get cutting this thing out get rid of this rock So there we have it. You can see, we've chopped the roof completely out, but we've kept all the strength from the 
pillars. This is where the roof was made, I'll show you that. So all the pillars are still in. So basically we were just re-skinning it, but making it stronger. So we've got the carbon fiber and the carbon fiber has got a honeycomb uh, foam shell to it. So that's gonna bring a lot of strength into this. So we're just gonna prep up this edge now so we can bond it on, get this roof in. So saving a ton of weight, we're gonna weigh the roof, weigh the carbon roof and show you how much we've lost. So uh, there's a lot of people that try putting these roofs on without cages. I would not recommend it, you can see um the cage is basically the structural part of the car and you don't want it moving so that's an extreme kind of day we've got the boot off as well just so we've got more access to the roof um this is the new carbon boot that i showed you in previous vids that are going on it, it weighs nothing so what with this and the, the new roof skin saving a ton a ton of weight the car looks terrible at the minute but they always do when they're in progress look at the state of the car at the minute convertible we, uh, you can see we took the boot off as well, just more access to the roof. Um, rest of the roof's absolutely fine. Got loads of strength in it, just keyed up, keyed up the metal so we can bond it to it. Got all the pillars in there still, all the strength, so we're just basically putting a skin on. You can see it's got all the strength there, and obviously you've got the roll bars underneath it as well, so but no problem with that. Carbon fibre stronger than steel. All of it's going to be better than rust and glass that was on there in the first place. So let's get to seeing how much weight we're going to save. This rotten old roof and this sunroof. The sunroof's in good condition, we're all greased up. I'm going to stick that on an eBay. Someone will want that. So I'm going to quickly give these away. That one, I can feel that weighs a, a lot. That glass weighs a lot. So, so the glass itself, let's see, it's off the brand. 7.3 kilos but right, so this is the roof the nasty bottom roof you can see how bad it is inside so you think it would be lighter so how much weight we got here blimey 11.3 from the top of the car so that's a good saving of nearly 19 kilos for that roof so that's a lot of weight for the top of the so car so taking all this weight at the back of the car, I know it's not going to stay like that, and look how much it's raised the back of the car up. It's like um, a 4x4, four four. so we're going to have to get coilovers eventually on this. So as you know that this boot is going on, that's a carbon fibre boot, and it weighs, in the last videos we weighed it, it was 2.7 kilos. So we're going to weigh the boot now with the spoiler on complete. It's, maybe it's got no locks or nothing in it, but it's still got the glass. 24 kilograms. So that's going to be a saving. I'd say when that's got the perspex or the, uh, sorry, the polycarbonate window in it, I say that's going to be around five kilos, four and a half kilos. So we're going to save 20 kilos just from the boot. That is enormous saving. So probably that and that we've saved 35 kilos. That's an, that is a good saving. Right, so there's still stuff in the boot. Um, this obviously got the fuel tank on, bumpers are all still on, but do you want to show you how light the back of this car is now? That's ridiculous. <laughs> so gonna weigh the carbon roof just to see how much we're saving. So what was it, 19 kilos all in for the rest of this stuff. This is the roof with honeycomb structure in it. So it's lovely and strong. That's what we're weighing it at in the wind <laughs> so 2.962 so let's just say three kilos and uh, it's so light flying in the wind so in case you haven't guessed already but this is the roof that's going on the car full carbon fiber 100% no fiberglass in this one so you've got a, a honeycomb strengthened core and then you can see why we've, well, we've keyed this all up now so we can get grip for the bonding. Um, the lip around the outer edge, that's gonna go to all the pillars that I showed you inside the car. And then we have the strength in the middle. Everyone knows that carbon fiber is super strong and for its weight, it's stronger than steel. So we're not compromising on any strength. We've got the roll cage in there as well. We're just saving a ton of weight. So can't wait to get this on. So not that you're ever gonna see it. Getting the bonding on, Josh was here. Anger UK, Instagram, go and follow him. So this stuff is used, what they use in supercars, 
to bond the carbon fiber monocogs together. So once this roof goes on, it is never coming back off again. So sorry, but no one else is having this roof. Stand on the shell. So let's get it on. And we've got it done just in time. Um, the clamps and all the tape were just taken off it. And it's um, just started to rain. So I ain't gonna be able to show you any properly. But I'm gonna give you uh, a little look now. You can see how good it looks. Um, fits absolutely perfectly. See the carbon weave. So I'm gonna show you around the car in a nice sunny day so you can see the weave a lot better. Um, but look how nice that looks and it does a function as well. So everything we do on this car is functional. Nothing is just for show. Um, we have pillar trims, carbon fiber pillar trims that go down here. We're not even gonna put them on because they just cover up the pillar and they're just for show. So we literally just put this roof on to save a ton of weight as you see, but it looks beautiful as well. No one could deny that carbon fiber doesn't look beautiful. So the seats are all back in is back together and we've got a nice little mod it's a mod that everyone should have one kilo of fire extinguisher down the back there so we can just grab it when it's needed now if you ain't been in a fire before it's uh it happens very quickly and if you haven't got a fire extinguisher your car's going to burn to the ground very fast so get one in your car so as i said we have these a pillar trims as well these are just to be bonded over the existing a pillars not to replace them and then they do look very pretty, but when you put them on the car, um, they're just for show. And they make the car look a little bit like a convertible. So I'll just quickly show you what I mean, but they're not going on the car anyway. So that's how the trims will fit. But it's, uh, if you look at it from a profile view, you can see what I mean about, they don't look nowhere near as good. So I like the fact that the roof is just carbon fiber. You can see from this angle, and the uh you can still see the pillars but when you put the covers on you can see the pillars just disappear and it looks like a convertible so if you if you agree comment but i've got a torch with me now so i just want to show you the beautiful weave on the roof so you can see how good that looks really really happy with that 